What's up everybody, this is Steve Stralacci and today we are looking at what's on my pedal board in 2021. What's leaving quarantine with me? Finally, we are getting back to playing live music, shows, people, audience, stage, lights, camera, action. It's all finally happening again. I'm more than thrilled to be at, back out on the road, be playing in cover gigs, playing it all. I'm just so happy to be playing with people, for people, in person. There's nothing like it for me. And I'm super, super excited to get back out there. And here is what is on my pedal board moving forward for this year. Um, disclaimer, some of this stuff is through endorsement or demo deals where they were either sent to me or paid demos, but none of that means anything in terms of my professional pedal board. This is all the stuff that I choose to put on a board to use professionally. So regardless of how I got them, um, all the opinions and thoughts of what makes this board are purely my own and I'm not being paid or uh, persuaded to say anything or include these on my pedal board. Move on. All right, so for the playing demo, I'm gonna be playing my Sir. This is my fully custom Sir. Um, this is a classic T bridge pickup, Michael Landau signature in the neck and middle. Um, the middle pickup is wired directly to this middle pot. So if you see me messing with this, that means that I'm blending it in. Otherwise, it's a regular three-way telly. So bridge. Blend it out. As I bring up the volume knob, you get that clucky strat. If I go neck pickup alone. If you want to see more about uh, my Sir, you can check out my full demo of it up top. But to start off, I'm going through my Polytune Mini, just my preference of pet of tuner. It's just the one that I have. It's small, stays out of the way, keeps my guitar in tune, does the job. The next thing I go into is the precision drive and I just keep this as a solo boost, but I put it before. I use this as a pretty much an EQ jump. This thing makes your guitar cut through like a knife. And I feel like it's important to put this early in your chain before your drives. And it's somehow like, it's like magic. You gotta hear what this pedal does and feel what it does. From there, I go into this custom Star Wars pedal. The right side is a uh, blues breaker type of circuit similar to a Morning Glory. The Vader side is similar to a Zen drive. And that's like one of my main heavier sounds. From there, I go into the Nordland ODRC, which is one of my main overdrives I use all the time. It's the best natural overdrive that you can get. From there, I go into the Analog Man EQ. This thing has saved me and gotten me out of a lot of binds. Um, just a great EQ pedal, straightforward. From there, I go into the Holy Watt, which is a great overall drive sound. Um, it's one of my main go-to sounds when I'm looking for that edge of breakup sound. Really cool pedal. It's got different clipping modes and stuff and a lot of solid EQ options. From there into the J Rocket Archer. I'm sure you guys have seen that a million times by now. It's that Klon vibe. And from there I go into my HX Stomp, which is kind of the whole brain of the rig. I can't tell you how many times this thing has bailed me out and been my lifesaver. I can record direct USB so I could take my pedal board, plug it into the computer and I can just record straight up. I don't need any interface or anything used as an interface. Um, one time at a session, my basement goes down. I was able to just take the quarter inch, plug it directly in, pull up an amp sim, and I was off and running. I put my reverb and delay in an effects loop just so I can have the HX Stomp be last in the chain for those you know oddball cases where I need to go direct with the HX Stomp and say my amp goes down or I don't have an amp. This is also my backup rig, recording interface, and full multi-effects all in one. HX Stomp is seriously just the best pedal. You definitely need one. And in the effects loop, I have my Line 6 Echo Park, which has just always been a solid, reliable delay, and my MXR Reverb. Those two I totally stole from Tim Pierce's pedal board. I've always loved the MXR Reverb. It's just really simple. You don't need a degree in rocket science to figure it out. Very straightforward to use. Sounds really great. And um, let's go through it. We'll start bypass. This is just directly into the basement. <laughs> Putting on a little bit of slack back, slack back, put on a little bit of slap back and the MXR reverb. And I've got the spring reverb set on there. So I'm gonna go through a couple of my go-to settings. This is the Luke side of the Return of the Jedi pedal.
Really great for just that extra clarity. Slight hair on your sound that you don't want to get too distorted. I love that blues breaker type of vibe for that type of stuff. Next in the chain is the Vader side of the Like My Pedals. And this is kind of a Zen Drive type of vibe. This is like my main heavier sound when I'm not using an amp model. And uh, here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Just a really great mean, mean overdrive distortion sound. Um, next up we have the Nordland. So this I use as a main rhythm sound, main amp sound. I mean, this is just kind of a primary sound that I use often. I'll either use this, the Blues Break, or the Holy Watt as just like kind of a bass sound for an entire song. <laughs> Really great for tele bridge pickup. Um, it's got so much low end to it that just really fattens up single coils and makes makes them sound really good. That one I have a full demo up here too as well, as well as the new mini series that's coming out. So now from there I go into the analog man, which is really hard for me to, to just do a demo of because it's an on the fly thing. I'll throw in a few adjustments during a session or during a song if I need a solo boost. I kind of just, I, it's kind of there as my pillow as a just in case if I ever need it type of thing. From there I go into the Holy Watt, Holy Drive, which has been such a surprise to me. My buddy Jim sent this to me to try out and I didn't have much expectation, but it really became one of my instant favorites and I use it all the time. So here's the uh, kind of main setting that I use on that. <laughs> So it's so good for stuff like that, that kind of like palm muting, light gain, chunky stuff. From there I go into the Klon, and this is kind of a always different setting for me too. So right now it's set to that like clean boost that everybody loves and you know covets the uh, Klon for. It's actually not my favorite sound, but I keep it on here because it's a vibe that I sometimes need. Overall, pretty good sounding pedal. Here's the neck pickup on the surf. <laughs> Now from there I go into the HX Stomp, which is kind of my Swiss Army knife. Right now I just have this Dimension Chorus on and, um, and a rotary, so here's the Dimension. Then I go to the rotary. I'm gonna combine that with the holy drive here. Um, Echo Park I use as like a nice analog delay. When I need a longer delay, I keep it on the analog setting. It stays dark, it stays out of the way. So let's let's do this together. Um, between the MXR reverb and the Echo Park, that's where I dial in like my solo sound. So I'm gonna change to like an epic solo sound on the fly here. Take you for the ride with me quick here. So I'm gonna change my, um, 
I'm gonna increase my mod, up the repeats here, slow down that tempo. And to do this, I'm just gonna click onto, let's go to the mod, I'm gonna turn that up. Okay, and now I'm going to hit that with, let's go with these three, Holy Watt, Vader, and the Precision Drive. See what that sounds like. Now let's hear what this sounds like without the precision drive, giving it that extra boost. So that's a quick demo of how I would use the pedal board. Say I needed a guitar solo, that's the type of thing I would do. I'd combine a couple of drives, throw in that precision drive to help push me through the mix. As you heard, when it clicks in, it's just like, whoa, kind of punches you in the face. The Analog Man EQ can do a similar thing. That's very dependent on the track though, so it's hard to just do a demo of that. Maybe I'll do a separate one of just a bunch of tricks with the Analog Man. If you guys want that, let me know in the comments. All right, so that's a quick look at what's on my pedal board in 2021. Let me know what you guys think. What would you add? What would you subtract? What do you think sucks? What do you think is great on this pedal board? I wanna have a gear conversation with you guys, so let's get it going. Let me know what you guys think. And if you stuck with me this long, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.